Okay, now we kind of move on from there and we start looking at the internal structure of the frog. Okay, first and foremost, when you've stabilized the frog more on, the, uh, on its back, what you want to do is try and make sure you can get the arms and the legs uh, out, as, as, out as you can because it makes it easier then because it creates a tension on the skin and then when you're doing your incision it makes it easier to open the uh, cavities up and to obviously expose the various organs on the inside. Okay. Um, so, what I normally do is I normally pinch the thoracic abdominal cavity and the whole purpose of pinching is because you're separating the connective tissue uh, from the skin and so when you do go to make your incision if you've not pinched it, it could go directly straight through the vital organs which will not allow you to visualize the correct organs or the organs could get damaged on the inside okay so once you've you've done that there at that point you want to pin down your frog now sometimes it can get a little bit tricky this but you've just got to be as be careful because obviously these are very sharp pins okay Um, normally, obviously, if you can't push it down, sometimes it's easy to push in, but I, I, I normally just give it a little bit of tap inside so that you've got strong stability whilst conducting the dissection. You can see here at the bottom here as well, so I'm just going to open up legs here, and it's straight down centre there. Okay. Now we've got this, now we've got the frog stable, we want to, obviously you get all of your scalpel, very very important when you're doing it, not to hold the scalpel downwards, because if you hold it downwards, you're actually cutting directly down into the vital organs. Switch the scalpel on the opposite way and make a small incision, just roughly where the sternum is to release the uh, internal structures first of all. Okay, once you've done that, then you can continue be very specific and precise with opening up the skin first of all. Once you've cut vertical, cut lateral across both sides, normally you can do a uh, a double Y incision, uh, but because the skin is quite tough, it makes it easier to do a T incision at across the top, just underneath the ribs, and then a T incision just before you get to the bottom cavity near the, uh, the thigh muscles. So if we just take this uh, cross, You can see here, just as I'm trying to take off this skin, there's still some connective tissue attached to this, so you've just got to be very careful that when you are taking it off, you try and remove as much of the connective tissue as possible and not damaging any of the muscles on the inside. Okay, and it is quite thin. So be careful with that. Okay, that's that one done.
Okay. You can see there now we've revealed the first kind of just you can just make it out that these are the muscles or just directly under the skin. And what we want to do is we want to look directly under the mus under the muscles and see what vital organs that we can kind of pick out from from here. Um, because this frog was preserved, there may be some preserved liquid on the inside. So it's uh, sometimes easy to just give it a dab down in terms of uh, absorbing any excess liquid. So therefore, when it comes to looking at the vital organs, it's made easier to see. And we do the same principle again. On this note, we are very, very thin, thin cut there, incision, and then straight down the vertical plane here. Okay, as neat as you can get it, the neater it is, the better you will be able to expose the organs on the inside. just to absorb up any of this fluid that is on the inside here. Okay, and then we want to just make the uh, exact same incision on the other side. So we have exposed the first lot of systems that are on the inside here. Okay, so just to dry off any of this excess fluid uh, which uh, is used to preserve these organs um, then we can see what's on the inside. 